Hi everyone. Um, welcome to Testflex. Uh, Arslan Ali here from Odia Testing. Um, let me share my screen and jump into the topic. So my topic today is uh, behavior of software applications in phase space. Uh, this is a theory actually, um, and it's it's obviously inspired by some uh, some other aspects, uh, some other topics, some other topics which have been coined in in the past in the software testing industry. Uh, so my story started uh, back in 2013 with uh, James Locke's presentation uh, at Test Bash, and there was this image uh, which actually baffled me uh, because I was so much so much surprised to see this image because it represents universe, it represents objects behaving in a phase space in a space which is uh, and and they are actually interrelated with each other and the, and the question main question James put forward over there. And how do we find bugs within that space where there's finite and limited of time available and we don't know where to where to put the coverage in so this was a challenge so since then i've been researching i've been talking about this i've been writing about the, these things uh, especially boundary value topics and all so let's 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 get get in get into the definition side. A phase space is a space in which our system exists with all its uh, possible states. So uh, if 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 a system existing with different objects, different interrelated objects, interfaces, data, um, it's its own structure, it's its its own uh, written process processes, its own policies, business policies, user psychologies, and everything. So all these complexities, if you put 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 these all together and you put them uh, put these all together interrelated within a closed boxed space. So that that the concept of a space is like that. So, so, so if a tester needs to test the system, they, 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 they need to ensure that the space contain all the system states and its possibilities within that space. But the challenge, there are certain challenges to in, in order to discover uh, coverage, discover challenges, discover the bugs within that phase space. The challenge is that it's like a short, short uh, arrow shot in the dark. So we don't know how to how to actually discover bugs, important bugs, and all of them within 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 the limited time frame. Plus, there are a special kind of challenges finding all the right and important bugs. Then test coverage with respect to the requirements. We all know requirements are ambiguous at one time or another. Then test coverage with unrealistic timeline. Release build inflation once the release is uh, release comes out to the client. There there are always issues which are retracking back to quality assurance, retracking back to the development team. Um, then the cost of quality obviously. Then multiple domain interaction if there are multiple domains involved uh, within the testing cycles. Where for example. Uh, finance domain is interacting with, with the with the e-commerce domain of, of the native application then what's happening over there uh, there is always an un unknown user base we don't know about the users now who is going to use it who is going to download the application and we do also don't know about the uh, platform base so there are so many challenges these are just just the, on top of my head there are so many challenges which 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 occurs and uh, a system with all its complexities existing within that phase space comes comes with these challenges it's it, it's like a package so i redraw the uh, what james depicted in that image i, I try to redraw it try to organize that so if if a system is uh, existing within within that space you can see that there should be they should be uh, a main object they should be interrelated object they all are uh, in connectivity to one another orbiting means that uh, uh, for example, user orbiting one object means that it, that user is continuously interacting with, with, with the object. For example, um, uh, if, if, if an application user, uh, if, if a phone, a smartphone user is using an app on his phone, uh, then uh, then the interaction of that user is actually actually orbiting of that user around that object. So the, there are the, the, the certain objects are actually orbiting over there. They are, they are inducing force an effect on, on on each other they are exchanging data they are exchanging protocols uh, they are in talk with each other in terms of accessibility they are in talk with each other in terms of data they are in talk of each other in, ter in terms of exchange of apis and, and and protocols so it's a very complex kind of situation and this is what happens in the system we all know that uh, in, a, in an example this is a very common example of ride sharing application 
so the, so i try to list it down the objects uh, uh, around uh, the space uh, regarding the ride sharing application and you can see that vehicles and transport contractor drivers and people calling in the rides everything happening in within within a within one application one application frame so we, if we if we envision ourselves, if testers envision themselves, uh, uh, that application existing within within a limited limited uh, uh, sort of time frame and 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 an uh, uh, unlimited to, uh, so sort of space. So that existing and that relationship will actually form the phase space for ride sharing application. Next thing, uh, uh, part of my theory is that if if objects are in existing in conjecture with each other, they also put force and effect on each other. So they can actually wobble. Uh, they can actually uh, 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 distort the boundary of uh, of certain functions, certain data, certain aspects uh, uh, by interacting with each other. So they can they can actually they can they, they so this this effect can actually affect the user as well. So user is also part of uh, those objects. User is also part of the uh, phase space objects. The same thing uh, if if we wish to name it so that, that that comes as a wobbling effect as as well. So the boundary is actually wobbling uh, because of the data interchange, because of the because of the uh, API interchange and everything. And that 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 is something we need to now work on. We need to now discover uh, because bu bugs exist within those boundaries. Bugs exist within and around those boundaries. And we need to see that what kind of boundary uh, are being affected when one object interacts with the other object, what kind of force it affects. Uh, in the physical universe, we see this that all the time, uh, that one object uh, in relation to the other object is actually putting force and effect on the other object and it creates and creating the wobble effect. So my theory is why not in the software as well? So, so if, if we consider software, if we put out some kind of data element, some kind of data research around it, and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure of it, I've seen it, uh, that release, releases are actually inflated, that uh, issue, uh, that requirements are actually inflated, and uh, the context actually inflates itself when once the context and requirements come into the real world format, they actually, they, they, this, this, this phenomenon actually is like an explosion going on. And with all your factors and everything, user, user experience, your application components, everything are like behaving like balloons in that uh, in, within that explosion. So there is there is a significant amount of evidence occurring right right at this moment that phase space is not just a concept, but actually software has uh, are existing within 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 a certain certain environment certain ecosystem where these uh, properties these, these these things can be discovered um then comes uh, interaction of multiple domains so so one one phase space domain can interact with other phase space domain uh, what i've seen that they they, they uh, uh, if you are going to book uh, uh, you are going to purchase netflix account the netflix is going to do a transaction on your on your credit card account for one dollar for sam sample one dollar first and that is actually netflix going out of its boundary to another boundary and actually affecting that that system boundary that is banking boundary so those two systems are now related and it is so common these days because application in e-commerce based application in fintech application especially behave like this so they all interact with each other and there are different domains interacting with each other so this is one of one one another part of my theory which actually proves that uh, that that if two two different uh, domains occurring in different phase spaces can interact with each other <laughs> So now the blue pill and red pill question that will this work or will not this work, but that I leave up to you. Uh, we have challenges, we have test coverage challenges, we have timely delivery challenges, requirement context and discovery of important bugs. And uh, this is why I put forward put, put forwarded this theory in front of you. Um, let's see if it works. Uh, I'm working uh, with uh, Pfizer Yusuf uh, on, on this theory actually, and we are actually in process of review 
reviewing this and uh, we will uh, we will be publishing it soon uh, but let's see uh, finger cross when it will be published uh, since then the, something is on your plate now you can see you can uh, progress out and you can see how how you can progress how you can actually work on it uh, so that's it that that was my two cents for test flag i was i'm so happy to be back here and hope you enjoy my talk thank you so much Bye-bye, everyone.